Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Input Gamer. For this lesson, I'm going to show you a quick little tip on how to debug your Android games once you've built them and put them on an Android device. Now the reason why you'd need to do this is if your game has a problem where it's crashing at certain points. Sometimes your game will be working just fine in the editor without any errors or any visible issues. But once you build your game and put it onto an Android device, Sometimes it'll crash in the middle of the game or at certain points or sometimes it won't even open at all. It'll just instantly crash. Whenever this happens to me, I often use the Android Studio Logcat tool to debug my app and find any errors that are occurring. Now to get started with the Android Studio Logcat, you'll need to download and install Android Studio if you don't have it already. Once you have it open, you should be able to see the Logcat tab down in the bottom left corner of Android Studio. When you click on this tab, it'll expand a window which is very similar to the console window in Unity. And to start receiving messages from your device, you'll need to plug in your device to your computer. Once it's plugged in, you can use this drop-down menu to select the device if it's not selected already. You can then also use this drop-down menu to pick the type of message that you want to see within the logcat. I often just set this to error, but you can also see debug messages as well. Then if I'm debugging a specific app, I'll type into the search bar part of the bundle ID for my app. And so if I were debugging my crypto games, I would type in the word crypto because crypto is found in the bundle ID. Now because my app doesn't currently have any errors, I'll actually switch it back to debug and then I'll go ahead and open up my app. And there you go, you can now see that my device is printing debug messages to the logcat window and all of these messages have to do with my crypto games app. Now for you, if your app is crashing, you should be able to see some red messages, especially if you use the drop down menu to select error messages only. Now to know what to do with those errors is a whole nother thing. You'll want to start with just Googling what those errors are and how to fix them. But if I ever come across an error in the future with my own apps, I'll make sure to do a video on them. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to use the Android Studio Logcat to debug your apps that have been built to an Android device. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.